Hi everyone, I'm Joanne with Newegg TV. I'm here to do a tutorial on how to upgrade your PS4 stock drive to an SSD. And today we'll be using the Samsung 840 EVO 1TB SSD, which is a whole lot of storage and speed. And uh, we'll also be needing a USB drive so we can download the software that you'll need to upgrade the system. And lastly, of course, you'll need the PlayStation. And one more thing, before we get started, make sure to leave your PS4 unplugged and I'll show you when you'll need to plug it back in. So why would you want to upgrade the stock drive to an SSD? Well, obviously for storage purposes and for faster overall system boot times, um, as well as game loads. So for those of you who are really impatient about that, like moi, this is a, a very good thing. And SSDs are generally faster than SSHDs, but not by too much, I'd say, uh, but still, you know, faster is better, right? Um, and it's also definitely better than the uh, stock drives. So there's just a little bit about why you should do this. All right, so let's get down to the installation process. We're gonna do the hardware part first before I show you the software. So take the glossy part here and just pull back and then just kind of wiggle. Okay, well, it came right off. That was really easy. And here is where the stock drive is. We're just gonna take a screwdriver and take this screw right here and unscrew it. Really simple. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide the drive out with the drive mount. So now I have the drive out in its bracket, but we're gonna have to remove the drive, of course. So take off these four screws. I'm gonna use a thinner screwdriver to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So with the four screws removed, they are right here in this area that you cannot see, haha. <laughs> Just go ahead and slide the drive out and replace it with this drive. Easy as pie, I would say. And then I'm gonna go ahead and screw these back in. Alrighty, so now that the drive is secure, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it into the mount. So boom, easy as pie. And one last thing, of course, is to screw this one back into place. Give me a sh mm, short second. Ah, so there, wasn't that easy? Hardware install, boom, done. And let's go ahead and slide this cover back on. Now that you have your USB drive plugged into your PC, go ahead and go to the computer and right click on it, go to format, and then make sure it's on FAT32 and click the unclick the quick format start, but I've already formatted this drive, so there's no need for me to do that, but you just wait a few minutes until it completes. We're gonna go ahead and close out on that. Once it's been formatted, go into here, create a folder that says PS4 and do it exactly like this or it will not work, it will not boot up. And then create a subfolder, all caps, update titled update and then this is where your software will be and the software will show as ps4update.pup and this is the approximate size of that file. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close out on this and show you where to download that particular software. So let's go into the uh, browser and this is the link that you'll need to go to. New install and then installation steps, make sure you're there and go to the download now link and click it and your download should start. So that wraps up the software downloading part and the USB formatting. So the PS4 power is still unplugged, but we're gonna go ahead and plug in some things that you'll need before we plug the power back in. You'll need the controller. So let's go ahead and uh, do that, plug that in. And then of course, plug in the USB with the software in there. Alrighty, and then now I'm going to go ahead and power on the PlayStation. Now that the PS4 has power, we're going to go ahead and press the power button. So we're just going to put our finger over that and wait a few seconds until you hear a second beep. And what this does is it'll take us into the uh, safe mode and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the screen. Alrighty, it's finally time for the software installation part. So we're gonna go ahead and press the PS button and it'll bring us to this menu right here.
go to the very bottom and pick number seven, which is initialize PSU reinstall system software, and then we're going to press enter. If the PS4 does not recognize the USB device, go ahead and unplug it, plug it back in, press OK, and it should take you to the please wait screen and you'll wait about a minute or so before um, it'll recognize it and then this screen will prompt. The uh, PS4 will be initialized. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? And of course, you're going to want to press yes. And I'll do that in just a moment. But let's say you replug the USB, but it still doesn't work, it doesn't recognize, then you're, you might have to reformat the USB drive again and then create that PS4 folder, and then the subfolder update, and then download the link into that update folder, and then replug in the USB. It is finally time to initialize for real this time. So let's press yes. Once the system has finished installing the system software, do not turn off the PS4 during installation, obviously. And after the install has been completed, the PS4 will automatically restart. And if it all runs smoothly, you can sign into your PS4 account and you will be done. Congrats on your PS4 SSD upgrade. That wraps up the tutorial on the PS4 SSD upgrade. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel as well as our other YouTube channels. Thanks for watching New Egg TV and we'll see you next time.